Hello again. My name's Simon Bradwell from EBM Pabst in Melbourne. Uh, and today I'm down in our training room with one of our mid-sized radical fans. They are second generation fans with Modbus that we're uh, setting up to do some controls training with one of our building services uh, clients. Um, and today I want to talk to you about uh, handshaking control <clears throat> and also review our EC fans and their speed controls uh, and the benefit of EC fan speed control without a variable frequency drive. So quickly to review some of the information that we've discussed previously. Um, here's a slide showing the variable performance available from EC fans. This is true demand control, which allows you to uh, get the performance from the fan that you really want. Secondly, here's a slide with respect to the fan laws. Now, I must remind that fan laws are based upon physics and only high efficiency fans actually obey fan laws. So, um, if you speed control down a fan by 25%, you get 50% power savings. That's just tremendous. So, today I want to talk to you about handshaking. And here's a picture of me handshaking with Michael Faraday, the father of all communications. So, why handshaking control? Well, first of all, let's see what's, let's look at the opposite of handshaking control, 0 to 10 volt control. Now, 0 to 10 volt control of any fan, of a variable frequency drive or whatever, is very simple and straightforward. But it's like working in a team and not monitoring their performance. So in 0 to 10 volt control, all I do is ask you to do 50% with 5 volts. But do I really know that you're doing 50%? It's only with full handshaking control can you actually get feedback from your partner such that you know that everybody's working in tandem within the system. And this is the fundamental beauty of handshaking control. So, in handshaking control, um, there are lots of things that you have to take into consideration. First of all, you have to have matched systems, like I mentioned. Now, you'll see on our website, ebmpaps.com.au and on ebmpaps.com, we've got a, a range of approved controllers. Um, and if you're able to come to the ARBS in Melbourne in 2012 this year, um, you'll be able to see a range of different control systems um, where we've been able to dovetail our Modbus RTU with the, with the primary controller RTU. Um, Corel, DIOS are all examples of co approved controllers. Um, now, approved controllers, they communicate on three levels. And what's the best way of doing this? Well, the best way of doing this is using handshaking, an EBM PAPS Modbus RTU. This gives you full power and performance monitoring so that you know that the fan is doing exactly what you want. This gives the full benefits inside a building set where the designer and the manufacturer of, of the air conditioning unit, for instance, wants to ensure that their product is performing at the optimum at all times. And this gives a building that is being performing at its optimum at all times. And this is exactly what end users, uh, tenants and landlords want of modern buildings in both Australia and New Zealand. So I'd just like to summarise. First of all, EBM PAPS EC fans have speed control without the requirement for variable frequency drive. Secondly, why do we want to speed control? Because we want to control the performance of the fan, we want to reduce the power of the fan, we want to reduce the noise of the fan. And thirdly, what's the best way of speed control? The best way of speed controlling is handshaking. In other words, using Modbus RTU control, uh, which allows full communication between the controller and the fan. In other words, the controller asks the fan to do 50% and the fan tells the controller it's doing 50%. This is exactly the, the finite performance control of a fan that's needed in modern buildings. Thanks very much.